Petrobras announced on Friday, July 29, 2023, its new dividend policy. The decision was taken after a meeting of its board of directors. According to the company, a minimum annual remuneration of $4 billion was established for fiscal years in which the average price of a barrel of Brent oil exceeds $40 per barrel. In addition, the company changed its dividend calculation formula. Now, the company will distribute to its shareholders 45% of the free cash flow, value left over from the cash generated from the operation after discounting the investments. This formula will only be applied in case of gross debt equal to or lower than the maximum level of indebtedness defined in the strategic plan in force and of accumulated positive result to be verified in the calculated quarterly result. According to Petrobras, this formula will be applied based on the results obtained in each quarter. That is, the state-owned company will distribute dividends every three months. Until then, the state-owned company used another formula, created during the administration of Roberto Castello Branco. The dividend distribution model provided that, in case of gross debt of less than $65 billion, Petrobras could distribute 60% of free cash flow to its shareholders. At the end of 2021, under the management of Joaquim Silva and Luna, the state-owned company began to allow the anticipation of dividends. In the new remuneration policy, the company also announced that it will be able to buy back shares in the market. The buyback, when it occurs, should be carried out through a structured program approved by the board of directors, said the state-owned company. Petrobras said that it may, in exceptional cases, carry out the distribution of extraordinary remuneration to shareholders. Guarantee Investments Petrobras seeks, through the policy, to guarantee its perpetuity and financial sustainability in the short, medium and long term, and to provide predictability to the flow of payment of remuneration to shareholders. Consequently, the payment of remuneration to shareholders must not compromise sustainability short, medium and long-term financial prospects, the company said in a statement sent to the Brazilian Securities and Exchange Commission CBM. Last week, the director of the financial area, Sergio Catano Leite, said that the new model will be adopted for the payment of dividends for the second quarter. Next week, the state-owned company will announce its financial results for the months of April to June 2023. Upon taking over the company, Jean Paul Prates indicated that Petrobras would have a new guideline for defining prices and a new regime for sharing profits with investors. The purpose of this measure is to free up space for the company to invest again. In recent weeks, Petrobras created a working group of 11 people, which includes representatives from the financial, legal, tax and governance areas to review the model. Leite highlighted that the new format is in line with what is practiced by other oil companies. In May, Petrobras Board of Directors approved the payment of approximately $5 billion in dividends for the first quarter. According to Leite, the quarterly payment frequency should be maintained, but will still be subject to analysis by the company's board. The study on the new model will be completed this month. In 2022, Petrobras was appointed as the second largest dividend payer in the world, according to the Global Dividend Index by manager Janice Henderson. The company distributed $21.7 billion. This policy, which helped to attract investors in the past, is the target of criticism from the current management which considers that it is necessary to increase investments not only in the pre-salt layer but also in other areas, including renewable energies. In a recent interview, Prate stated that the change in dividends would not be crazy. But he pointed out that Petrobras is a safe company, a transatlantic. And he said at the time that investors looking for security are conservative and accept lower returns. Share Repurchase Share buybacks are used by other oil companies. This inclusion of the buyback in the policy seeks to align Petrobras with its main international peers, which have been carrying out robust share buyback programs, in addition to the payment of dividends, said the company. Finally, according to the state-owned company, 
the new dividend policy is important due to the review of the strategic elements for the 2024-2028 strategic plan, which will provide for the allocation of 6-15% to of total investments to low-carbon projects. I invite you to watch our videos about the pre-salt layer and the history of Petrobras. To access, just click on the respective image available on the screen.